So I'm supposed to lay low out here for a few weeks, and then what? When do I get my fucking life back? I already have an idea for my next book. I'm ready. You think it's my fault, don't you? You know what? Don't bother. Don't bother. We're done. I have to go. to let you know I made it to the house in one piece. Noticed your window's broken. If there's anything I can do about that, let me know. Otherwise, uh... Yeah, thanks again for letting me stay here. You guys saved my life. Truly. I really wish you were here right now. Just call me back when you can. Don't you just love that smell? I swear. Hi. Hi. Who are you? I should ask you. You're a stranger here, not me. I'm a friend of the family. You the gardener or something? Something like that. They pay me to take care of the house when nobody's home. I'm Eddie. Sorry if I scared you. You didn't scare me. Well, who's this? Uh, she's a friend of the people who live here. Does she have a name? I don't know, do you? Susan. Abby, this is Susan. Susan, this is the most wonderful woman I've ever met. My mother's name was Susan. I was just telling her about how we take care of people's houses. Well, I am exhausted. Why don't I fix us some tea? An afternoon snack. I'm fine, really. You might as well let her. I'm gonna be out there fixing that burst pipe all day. All day? Where do you think all this shit came from? Eddie can fix the pipe and I'll fix us some tea. It's an easy enough job. Pays well and gives us our solitude. Are you looking for something? Uh, some mugs for the tea. Eddie must have stuck them in the wrong cabinet. <laughs> but honestly, what I love most about watching people's homes is the feeling of stepping into someone else's life, getting a taste of their world. So what do you do? I'm a writer. Oh. Interesting. What do you write about? Cold cases. <sighs> now don't tell me you're here in our little town trying to solve some silly old murder. I'm actually taking a little bit of a break right now. I see. I don't want to talk about it. I heard you yelling on the phone earlier. Someone must have really screwed you over.
All I wanted to do was make two very sad people a little bit happier. Does that make me a monster? Not at all. If anything, that makes you a hero. These poor parents in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming, had their baby boy go missing. Right out of the crib. He simply vanished without a trace. Right away, I knew there wasn't much I could do. But I felt their pain. I thought, if I can give these people some honest relief and happen to get a good story out of it, what's the harm? Everyone wins. Susan, I think it's so incredible that you took the initiative to change lives for the better by any means necessary. Eddie and I have wanted to change the world since we met each other. But change doesn't happen without someone getting their hands dirty. Isn't that what you're saying? Yes. Thank you. So what'd you do? Is that your baby? You couldn't keep him quiet for five minutes, could you? Do you know who lives here? Eddie and I are gonna change the world by any means necessary. And we want you to be a part of it. Will you? Yes. Come see. Him. Nothing's wrong with him. Eddie, enough. <sighs> He's hungry. He's sick from that shit you've been feeding him. He's not sick. <sighs> He's perfect. Your baby needs professional medical All attention. All he needs is some tender love and care. Who are you to tell us how to raise our child? It's okay, Eddie. She needs to see. See how happy and healthy he is. What is this? This is God. He spoke to us in our dreams, and we combed the coast until we found what he spoke of, an ooze blacker than the darkest depths of the ocean. We consumed the divine substance and made love for three days straight, as the visions instructed us to. That's three days of my life. <laughs> when I gave birth to him, I felt reality tear itself apart. Oh, I don't feel so good. I know what it feels like, Susan have the world eat you up and spit you out. But when I look at him, all I feel is his love. <laughs> I think he wants to say hi. <gasps> you want to hold him? Susan, 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 Susan,
It's really weird. It's okay. It's not okay. It feels totally crazy. Okay. But you know them. Do you know who those people are? Okay. They're doing something in your backyard. Did you tell them that they could do that? There's this black stuff and it's really... Just take a breath. He likes you. Ready? 